Hi, it's Dwyer. It's April the 21st, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk boxing. Let's talk a battle of unbeaten champions. Does it get better than that in a loaded division? Josh Taylor, unbeaten. Against Jose Carlos Ramirez, unbeaten. I believe the casino has this one wrong. Let's talk about it. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, if you wanna know who's gonna win, Josh Taylor against Jose Carlos Ramirez, what I want you to do is to take a coin out of your pocket and flip it. Folks, this is a jump ball. This is an evenly matched fight. This is going to be hell for 12 rounds if it goes 12 rounds. Understand, Josh Taylor is the only man to beat Regis Progre. Understand, Jose Carlos Ramirez, who's been champion since 2018 has beaten Jose Zepeda, a name you need to know, Maurice Hooker, a name you need to know, and Victor Postal, a name I think you already know. These guys are vetted. These guys are legit. The dynamic is that Jose Carlos Ramirez is an orthodox fighter, fights in an orthodox stance, but he has one of boxing's best left hooks. He can double it. He can triple it. If you want to take a look at his game in my favorites folder right now here on YouTube, I have his highlights. You're going to notice this guy is lethal with the left hook, simply lethal. He might be inverted. He's that good with the left hook. He's also, and this is the kicker, spectacular with positioning. In other words, he's figured out a way from an orthodox stance to maul you with that left hook and then to set it up where from an orthodox stance, he has a short, straight right hand that's devastating. In other words, he's in position such that the punch doesn't have to travel across his body. In other words, what that tells you is this is a guy who can get very close to you, who knows how to cut off the ring, right? He knows he's a left hook artist. He knows it. So he is in position to hurt you with the left hook, but if you try to slip to his right, He's in position to take you out with the right hand. Now the casino somehow, and this is shocking, given this guy's history, given this guy's unbeaten status, the casino right now for a fight in Vegas, in his country, right? Josh Taylor's from the UK. Josh Taylor has to cross the ocean then travel across most of the United States to get to Vegas. So comparatively speaking, in Ramirez's backyard, Vegas somehow is making this unbeaten champion with power and one of the sport's best punches, his left hook, a plus 200, a two to one underdog. This is a value play. You got to be kidding me, folks. You, you've just got to be kidding me. This bet makes itself. You hear Jose Carlos Ramirez. Then you hear you're getting odds. That, that by itself is a head scratcher. He's the underdog. So you say, really? Okay, I'm interested. And it's not a plus 120. It's not a plus 150. They're giving you a plus 200. Don't need to put a bow on the package. I'll be the casino's huckleberry. 
wrap it up, I'll take it. Right? The hedge I'm going to do here is the over. Right? I'll agree. If the fight lingers, Josh Taylor in the later rounds is going to have the upper hand. But what I want people to consider is that Josh Taylor a southpaw. His best punch is also a left hook. So somebody tell me how Taylor's going to be able to protect himself. Because Ramirez is going to come in, he's going to want to throw left hooks. Taylor, who has a back foot game. The problem with Taylor is he's a risk taker. Right? He could be a boxer if he wants. That's not who he is. Everyone has a plan until they get hit in the mouth. As Mike Tyson famously said. Right? Taylor is a guy who, even against Regis Progre, is in the pocket. Right? Even against heavy punchers. Taylor, who has a reach, who has river, who could get up on his toes, who could try to stick and move and win rounds, is there in the middle of the battlefield with you. So the problem is both guys are going to come in. Both guys are going to want to land their left hooks. I'm just telling you, and I know, many of you are going to disagree with me. Jose Carlos Ramirez hits harder. Since Taylor is going to be in the pocket, since Taylor prefers to throw hooks instead of jabs, since Taylor likes to be on his front foot, these two guys are going to find each other. They're going to be punches landed. Now, the difference between the two guys, in my opinion, is that Ramirez has an economy of movement. Ramirez knows who he is, right? Ramirez comes in, he wants to land the left hook. He wants to bully you over to the ropes. He's two-handed, but you'll notice the hand he prefers is the left hand. Taylor, to me, is trying to do too much. In other words, Taylor comes in, Taylor can fight low, Taylor gets low, then Taylor starts bouncing around, right? He doesn't have that A game that he can just default into and say, okay, this is the game that utilizes my skills. No, Taylor's the guy who spends rounds trying out different things. Don't get me wrong. It's one of the things that makes Taylor a great fighter. But against this guy, who's going to be looking for him just like Taylor is looking for his opponent, right? When the bullets start flying, it's the gunfighter who knows what he wants to do with the gun that's going to have the advantage. So Taylor has wanted this fight for a long time. The rest of the world doesn't seem to know who Jose Carlos Ramirez is. Taylor, who's a craftsman, who wants to be the best, understands that you cannot be the best at 140 pounds unless you fight Jose Carlos Ramirez. You just can't, folks. So he's going to get what he's asked for. And here's the problem. You know what they say in the real world. Be careful what you ask for. He's going to meet an aggressive guy who has openly said that he's outgrown the division, right? Ramirez is thinking about moving to 147. Maybe they both are. Folks, this fight is epic. This is one of the biggest fights of 2021. I know the world is looking at Joshua Fury. I know the world is looking at Canelo, Saunders. This fight is on par. Right? Both guys are unbeaten. Both guys are highly skilled. Right? It's interesting when you see Ramirez in the pocket and he's thrown three left hooks in a row and his opponent tries to come up top on him and you notice 
his right hand is playing defense. He has the right hand ready to block punches. It's interesting when you see Taylor start bouncing. I imagine Taylor is going to try to hit Ramirez to the body on Ramirez's right side. Right? But understand, Taylor is two-handed. Understand, Taylor has more to his game than he shows. So this is a great fight. I'm going to be blunt here. I don't know who wins the fight. But I think I know Ramirez has a chance early. I certainly know Ramirez shouldn't be going off as an underdog. This is a co-favorite fight. This is a coin flip. This is a jump ball, whatever you want to call it. Right? I get the feeling Ramirez, because he punches harder, because he knows who he is, because he's openly aggressive, because he knows how to cut off the ring, I think Ramirez is going to have the advantage early. And then I believe it's going to start to shift to Josh Taylor. Right? Josh Taylor has had some fights. The Regis Progre fight. Um, the guy who got a tie, Miguel Vasquez, the guy who got a tie with Canelo, right? It's too bad we don't have film on that. Miguel Vasquez, um, that fight had an ebb and flow. Josh Taylor takes a few rounds to get cooking, right? Jose Carlos Ramirez is more like a microwave. So, the bet I like. Is Jose Carlos Ramirez as a plus 200. Casino wants to offer long odds. Okay, I'm here. I'll be the sucker. I'll take the long odds. I like the long odds. The underdog simply to win. And I'll hedge the play with the over. Because I get the feeling it's going to take Taylor several rounds. And for Taylor to win, I believe the fight's going to have to go over. Right? Understand, too, the beauty of the play. If Ramirez wins late, you win both halves of the bet. But understand the risk involved. This is a fight where, just like the Taylor Progre fight, the guys are going to find each other. This isn't going to be a fight where one guy's looking for the other guy for four rounds. If this fight starts fast, and if Taylor, who can punch, just not as well as Ramirez, right? <laughs> If Taylor lands some shots and hits Ramirez in the right place, we've seen Warriors go down on liver shots. Think Oscar De La Hoya against Bernard Hopkins. If Ramirez, who's almost certain to get hit in the ribcage, gets hit in the right spot and goes down and is counted out, you lose it all. If it happens before the over. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. In my favorites folder, I have highlights for both guys. 140 pounds has been a bit of boxing secret, right? We know Teofimo Lopez and Lomachenko at 135. We know the cast of characters at 147, right? Pacquiao. Crawford, Spence, Thurman, right, Porter. We know 147. 140 has been loaded, folks. These two guys are unbeaten champions, right? This is the fight for divisional supremacy. Definitely worth a look. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I look forward to your comments. Thanks for stopping by.